Hello people and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about more Mr. Beast allegations. Damn. Let's go. This time it's um, a YouTuber called Ty Orr coming out with uh, his side of the story and things that he knows. Another former Mr. Beast employee. So who is this YouTuber? Well, he claims he's not a very good one, which is humble of him. He kind of explains who he is and what he's been doing. He explains his trustworthiness and gives some background information on him and uh, how he started with Mr. Beast. Ever since I was a young kid, I always wanted to be famous. And it wasn't until 2018 of November that I knew that I wanted to be a YouTuber. Sadly, it took me four years to realize that I actually suck. Like, I'm, like I'm really bad. I'm super cringe. And don't worry, because I am aware of this. <laughs> But I know one thing, and that one thing is I'm good at editing, and I'm great at creating ideas for others. I was meant to be off camera rather than on, and I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is being taken advantage of. I was lied to, manipulated, and thrown away like a piece of garbage. And something notable is that he doesn't pressure viewers to believe him or his content. He says that if you don't want to believe him, you don't have to. And if he doesn't have proof, then don't believe it. He talks about... How he started working for Mr. Beast, which he got an email, he thought it was fake or like a scam at first. Then he started coming up with video ideas for Mr. Beast, and eventually they met up. He lays out an outline, offered a fake job, put me to work, worked me until midnight, took my ideas, and sent me home. And then made videos on his idea. He stole his creativity and paid him nothing. That's a major issue on this platform. A lot of stealing, fraud, fakers, and scammers. Mr. Beast and the Mr. Beast team would send him video requests of something that they wanted him to help them with, and he would put them together. And again, he states not to listen to him or anyone else if there's no solid proof for the accusations or information. To me, this proves that he's trustworthy, but still, it's the internet. Take everything in a skeptical light. Don't put all your trust into one channel, person, or thing. One day you could have 100 subs, and the next you'll have 50. That's just how it is. Ty says he's never signed an NDA, which is um, a non-disclosure agreement. Taking an oath to not spill secrets or share information about the company or person. He explains the different jobs at different levels and studios. And then he talks about how he was scammed by one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform, aka Mr. Beast. He shows a board which had his ideas written on it about a Mario video he was working on. Mostly everyone liked it besides one worker. He explains the hierarchy, Mr. Beast, Tyler Jackson, and Hoodie, which are all workers, and obviously Mr. Beast is the main thing. They had a meeting and worked really hard through the night all the way to midnight. They had a budget for the video, and it costs a lot. The intro itself costs over a million dollars. Once they finally got done, they were all excited and happy. You know, he went home, and he got an email... Basically telling him that he was off. He sent back an email, like, hoping he didn't make anyone mad or upset or ruffle any feathers. They said no, but made a video with his exact ideas. They paid him nothing, and they used his idea. We stayed to midnight. They freaking loved it. Got a, I got a pat in the back. Jackson was excited. Hoodie was excited. Everything was literally perfect until I got home. Until I got home, and that's when everything started to happen. Unfortunately, we have decided not to move forward with your candidacy at this time. We really appreciate you coming out and vibing with us. We could, we would consider you for a role like this in the future, but timing isn't quite right. Uh, and the rest are about receipts. So, at first, I was like, you know what? Maybe that's maybe that's true. But then I started to think about it a little bit more. I started to think about it a little bit more, and I didn't, I didn't want to let it bother me. I didn't want to let it bother me. So I said, hey, Dylan, that's a bummer to hear, but I appreciate the opportunity. Maybe another time, like you said, Candidly, may I ask if I presented myself poorly or rubbed the crew wrongly in any way? Talking about here because I know I did. Also, I sent my receipts. Uh, and I was, this is talking about my dog because uh, I, had spent, I had spent like $400 for my dog to be uh, boarded. Sent all that information. Uh, he said, hello, Ty. You did not rub anyone uh, the wrong way or present yourself poorly. We're going through some reorganization with the team and are limited on roles we have open for teams. I appreciate you sending the receipt. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. This is where I started to like say, hmm. But I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything at all. Not a single word until I saw this on Twitter. Just uploaded the most insane video we've ever done. Go watch. Take a look at this picture. Take a good, hard look at this picture. Does that remind you of anything you've seen so far? Does it remind you of anything you've seen remotely close to it? Or does it look like the exact same thing that I drew? The exact same thing that I pitched? 
everything. Do you want to know how much I got paid for that? Zero. I didn't get to pay a single dime. This man, this company, his employees not only took the time to get to exploit me, to have me work for them under the false pretenses of a job. So basically, Mr. Beast hired him. He came up with the videos and ideas, and it was his creativity. Mr. Beast took the idea, sent him home with no pay and no credit. He made a lot off of that video and paid Ty nothing. Mr. Beast has the money and owes him the money. We're talking about the world's biggest YouTuber. How is that so hard to just compensate for someone for them work? How hard is it to compensate someone for their ideas that make you millions and made me zero? I don't care if it was legally done or not. Like, think about it. We all have hearts here. We're all watching. We're all watching YouTube or watching YouTube videos for the same exact reason. How messed up is that? You're a billionaire, dude. It's not like it's some other, I'm some some guy on the street or you're some guy on the street. Street. You're a billionaire, man. Pay people for their ideas. Don't just fly them out there, take their ideas, and send them home. You're giving these people false hope. You're taking their dreams from them. You're taking everything that's about them, their creativeness, their creativeness, their fucking imagination. Imagination. I'm sorry. I'm actually getting worked up right now. You can't do that to people. You can't do that to people. And on top of that, with everything going on in the media, it just kind of shows his, shoe, his true colors. It shows the true nature, your character of who you are. Mr. Beast benefits from this. And... He doesn't, which it's his ideas. We work too hard to be stomped on by these guys, to be to be trampled by these people in power. And who's the one that benefits from it? Think about it. Who's benefiting from this? Me or Mr. Beast? It ain't me. He ends the video by asking who is being benefited by this. And we all know it's Mr. Beast. We all know that it's the richer people, the people who are in control and have power. He also has a GoFundMe and... As for donations, if anybody wanted to give that, so go check out his video. And as always, have a good day.